everybody. Hope you all are having another wonderful day. Thank you so much for coming back to the channel. Today I've got another truck tour for you. This one is going to be a side-by-side -side sleeper for one of our non-same household teams over here at Highfield Trucking. So let me show you around. So the first thing I wanted to show you as you enter the sleeper here is you have plenty of storage up here at the top. These are also very huge cabinets because this is a bolt sleeper, so you have lots of storage space. Underneath that, we're going to have a fridge. This one actually does have a stand-up fridge. You have a freezer on top and you have your fridge on bottom. And you have lots of room in there to store your goodies up top, like your ice cream and all of your drinks and water to stay hydrated out here on the road. You've got lots of storage options. We used to love cooking meals in the truck out here on the road, so this definitely comes in handy to make sure that you are prepared and ready for all those wonderful meals you'll have out here on the road. Another thing we have over here is gonna be a stand-up closet. You do have a bar in the top there to hang up your hang-up clothes, your uniforms, things of that nature. And then in this truck, like I said in the intro, this is a side-by-side. -side. So you do have your two beds, one on each side. I'll start over here on the left for you. Above, you do have one large cabinet up here and another one in the back. Again, plenty of storage. This coming from a bolt sleeper, you have lots of place to store everything that you need. So over here on this bed, we do have a fan that is mounted to the wall for those days that it's just kind of a little bit uncomfortable. You need a little bit of circulation on air. Here, you do have a table that will fold down. The little lock goes out of the way and then that folds down over the bed. So you're able to sit here at the bed and have a table. This is great for working on a computer or if you just need some place to set a drink or something of that nature. That just folds back up. You do have a little cubby space over here on the left. You can put a phone or anything that you need in there. And then there is also an outlet plug on the side of that as well. We have a very large window here. They do have shades over them right now, but these windows do open and the shades are very easy to move uh, to take on and off. And then you have the bed itself. Now on this particular setup, we have the bed over here. There is a little reading light back here in the corner. And then you also have the control for the S-Bar heater. Then over the back, we do have some more places, very large cabinets back here. Whenever me and Don was in our truck, this would be where we always put our clothes. And you have another one on this side as well. And then we have two large closets in the very center. And then you have four drawers, two for each side as well down at the bottom. Moving on over here to this side. Again, you have your bed, pretty much the same setup you have your large window here. You have a little cubby space to store things in the, in the back back there, phone, things like that when you're going down the road. There is another plug on that side. We do have a fan over here as well. And then again, another table that folds down from the wall. So whenever you're working on a computer or something like that. On this side of the wall, we do have another plug as well as a light switch. And then you also have the switch over there for the in-motion satellite, which is the wine guard. Moving on around, we do have lots more cabinets and these cabinets are huge. They, go, they are deep, they go way back in here. You've got plenty of storage all throughout this truck to store everything that you need. This particular cabinet, whenever we were out here on the road, this is the one that we used for all of our food, um, a lot of food items and canned items and spices and stuff like that. Then you do have your convection microwave oven, and this is a full oven. So you can do everything in this bad boy from regular microwave stuff all the way up to baking your chocolate chip cookies. We have another large cabinet up here on the top. And then we have another storage cabinet here to the left of that. 
So here on this side in front of this bed, you can see that you do have some countertop space here. Here you're going to have your in countertop cook stove. This is just a hard cover that goes over top of that whenever it's not in use. And then here you do have your sink. And it is a very large deep sink that comes in the bolt sleepers. Your cooktop is going to be an induction stove. So anything, so any of your pots and pans that are induction will work on this. In the back, you do have places to store a few things. We used to put a lot of spices and stuff like that back here are common things that we used on a daily basis. And then we do provide here at High Fill Trucking, we provide you with in-motion satellite and this truck does come with a Blu-ray player as well. Coming down here on the countertop, you can see that you do have more storage with cabinets down here as well as a pull-out drawer. This is great for silverware and stuff like that. And then underneath that area, we do have all of our controls for in the sleeper. So this right here will be your water pump. This is going to be your in motion heat and AC controls. This is going to be your Dynasys APU control. This is your rooftop heat and AC control when the truck is stopped. And then this is going to be your inverter. And then here we do have lights for inside the sleeper, the puck lights and the roof lights. Then, since we do provide you with in-motion satellite here at High Field Trucking, we do have a rooftop-mounted TV, which simply just pulls down like this and allows you to watch all your favorite programming whenever you have downtime or whenever your co-driver is finished driving and you're ready to wind down for the day, you can hop back in here, watch a little bit of TV before going to bed. Whenever you're not using it, it just simply pushes up out of the way back towards the ceiling. This truck does also feature a rooftop AC slash heat, and you do have your vents that are mounted in the ceiling. Normally in a sleeper truck, you will have the vent right in the center, just forcing all the air down. I do like the air ducts. It kind of spreads the air out throughout the entire sleeper. So that way it's not all focused in one area. And this is going to be the front of the sleeper in the side by side. This is going to be a Cascadia. It has all of your general controls. You got your cup holders. You do have heated and cooled seats. And then above in the driver section, we do have storage up here. You can see there we've got some manuals and seals for FedEx. We've got more storage here with more seals. <laughs> and then more storage on this side. And then another cabinet on the passenger side. So yeah, guys, this is a general overview of a side-by-side -side sleeper truck here at Highfield Trucking. If you are interested, please go to our website at www.highfieldtrucking.net or you can shoot us over an email at info.hysg at gmail.com. And if you have a teammate, if you have your hazmat slash tanker endorsements and at least a Class B CDL, go ahead and give us a contact, reach out to us. We would love to talk to you about possibly getting into this truck today.